Salut à toutes et à tous les amis, on se retrouve aujourd'hui sur l'épisode 3 Hell is empty de Life is Strange Before the Storm On se retrouve sur la partie 1 les amis Et on va tout de suite démarrer l'épisode Hell is empty C'est parti Previously on Life is Strange Before the Storm I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> There is plenty of blame to go around. What does that mean? You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! Juliet is wailing. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance! I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes. Let's leave. For real. If you don't mean this, it's... It's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. What would it take to convince you? Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for... Chloe stays. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah. Your birth mother. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Ah oui. Je suis là, tu peux le faire. Oh, oh les amis, je kiffe <rire> déjà. Je suis là. I'm right here. Good. I need you. Allez, on y va. Oh les amis, c'est excellent. J'adore. Regardez. Euh, hop. When I was in high school, there was one person everyone adored. Her teachers, her friends. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes. I think that's what kept me blind for so long. Vie de couple, rencontre. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, 
I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families, Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. Oh, vie de couple, rencontre, vie de famille. Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but Alone. I was still blind. Ah non, aveugle. Et la descente aux enfers. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything. Even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. Réunion. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel, it was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her, that she felt like she'd gotten her life together, finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done, but after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world chance to be your mother and she squandered it it pained me to hurt her like that but I'd do it again and again and again to keep you safe c'est vraiment beau So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. Pourquoi pas Qui dit que c'est à vous de décider euh... 
Ouais, bon, pourquoi pas Why not If that's what Rachel wants. Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. Even if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. And maybe the, the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. <sighs> Rachel. I think I need to lie down. Ah, que peut-on faire Alors, SMS de groupe. I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. Je ne peux pas laisser Rachel seule. Oui, ça, ça je suis d'accord. Par contre, du coup, le SMS de groupe qu'on a reçu là, c'était quoi Euh, SMS de groupe. Sérieux, venez. Désolé les gens. Ok. Jamais, euh, jamais, <rire> James, excuse-moi, James. Putain. <rire> This must be hard for you too, Mr. Amber. It could be far worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. I've dreaded it. So that's why you never told her? You have no idea what pain... Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. C'est pas Rachel qui décidé de quoi avez-vous peur avec Sarah? Je sais pas. <laughs> euh, allez. I I don't understand. Are you afraid that Sarah would do something to Rachel? I don't think she would deliberately harm anyone, but addicts can cause tremendous harm without meaning to. Yeah, but Rachel's not a baby anymore. Listen to me. Sarah brought criminals and drug dealers into our home. She put Rachel in serious danger just to chase her habit. Chloe, I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please, put my daughter's safety first. Toujours essayer de lui dire la vérité. Toujours. That is something I will always do. She's so young. You are too. But I know you've experienced loss. Protect her from that. Please. I'll do what I can. I care about her too, you know? I know. Thank you. Allez les amis, on va aller monter. Euh, Est-ce qu'on peut juste, euh, du coup, euh, taguer ce truc là ou pas, du coup non, Ah, on peut plus le taguer. Bon, c'est pas grave. <rire> ce n'est pas grave. Du coup, on va monter les amis... Euh, euh, au premier pour voir Rachel, n'est-ce pas? Et puis après, euh, je sais pas combien de temps on en est là. Je pense qu'on a fait 10 minutes, hein, à peu près. On va s'arrêter à 20 minutes, ça paraît bien. Si on réussit, donc ça, c'est sa chambre. I 
I need some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. Oh mon dieu. C'est excellent. J'adore. Soutenir Rachel. D'accord. Et bah, qu'est-ce que je pourrais faire Tagué. Un tagué. I think Rachel could use another subject. But which one Anatomie, herbologie. Anatomie. That's the one. <rire> euh, globe, ok. Livre. Repêché. Qu'est-ce que c'est que ça Voyons voir. Une rose Mais qu'est-ce que donc cela <rire> At least she'll have something from tonight. <rire> euh, oui. Une boîte de secours, un sac de voyage. Above all, remember you are loved. Tableau en liège. Lampe. Euh, quoi Thème astral, ok. Carte. Et allumé. Ouais, je vais allumer ça. This light needs more light. Ouais, bon. On va, on va regarder dans la trousse. De premier secours. Ah, attends, attends, attends. On va voir ce qu'il y a là-dedans, là. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a là-dedans Euh, oui, bonjour. Prendre. Une lampe. Oh mon dieu C'est parfait <rire> Une veilleuse. Maman. Maman, attention, attention, maman. Euh, SMS de maman. S'il te plaît, rentre à la maison. C'est pas grave si c'est après ton couvre-feu. Je peux pas, la maman. S'il te plaît. Ben, nous ne pouvons pas. Nous sommes chez Rachel. Enfin. On va l'allumer, la petite lampe torche, là. Voilà. C'est beau. All ready for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. Ok, on va attirer son attention maintenant les amis. J'espère que vous êtes prêts. Étoile. Hey Rachel. Non. I'm glad you're here, Chloe. Of course. Euh... Parler, euh, bah, elle a pas l'air trop d'écouter, donc du coup, euh, étoile. Hey, check it out. It's beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? They remind us there's so much beauty out there. Which we almost never see. Sometimes we see it. Then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all lies. Elles sont belles quand même, ça craint les étoiles. Ah, elles sont belles quand même. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful. Right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? 
It's all lies. Everything. My entire life. My dad. <laughs> My mom. La pauvre. If I can even call her that anymore. And that other woman? My real mom? She's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. I'll take it. Even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> Good. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that my real mother was gone. Allez, on sort. The fact that she's here right now. That she came here. For me. I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? No. Of course not. But it, it might be tough to track her down. Yeah, that's true. Luckily, I've got my secret weapon. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. Je m'en occupe, j'ai une idée. <coughs> Je m'en occupe. Let me handle it. Really? Really. <laughs> Mysterious. I like it. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. I m'en occupe aussi. Je crois que je peux m'en occuper. Je m'en occupe aussi. Don't worry. I've got that one covered too. You do? Yep. In fact, anything you could come up with, I'll handle it. It's just like I told that biker dude at the mill, who was a lot scarier than this mom of yours could ever be. There could be flamethrowers, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash between you and her. And I would still find a way to get you there. <laughs> Chloe fucking Price. My magical Shakespeare fairy. Shut up. <laughs> but once we find her, how do I talk to her? What do I say? Tu sera. After my dad died, I was worried I wouldn't know how to talk to him anymore. But somehow, when we speak, I always know what to say. When you speak? In my dreams. He's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking. 
Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real. To us. Right? Right. Wow, j'ai super apprécié cette séquence, les amis. do it wrong that was one time when are you going to let it go remember when we used to work on cars together those are some of my favorite memories oh tes souvenirs ou mes souvenirs don't you mean my memories I don't think you remember after you're dead. Touche. All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? wrong don't you see anything oh c'est putain de bien fait cette séquence les gars fine it's the spark plug no that's not it i just had that replaced isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and yes and what Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. K Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. Le monde est un théâtre. Something about the whole world being a stage, so might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. But I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Dad? Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic floodlights sound effects chloe look at me look at me sweetheart it's going to be okay Boo! 
C'était un petit peu triste. Cette séquence. Wow. C'était triste. On est de retour chez Chloé. Yeah. Yeah. Oui. What the shit? Has someone been going through my room? Doesn't seem like mom. She wouldn't leave a mess like this. Wait. David? That motherfucker. Whatever. I don't have time for this shit. I've got to help Rachel. Okay. I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. Plus, he likes me. And he owes me one from yesterday. I can do this. Ugh, come on, dude. Pick up. Price, I got your collector's fee. Coming to get it? Hey, Frank. I was actually gonna cash in for a favor instead. What do you say? Never run out of crap, do you? What's the problem? I need to find that woman who was in your RV yesterday. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? C'est pour aider une amie, ça me ferait vraiment plaisir. C'est pour aider une amie. I'm trying to help a friend. It would mean a whole lot to her. The girl with you at the mill? <sighs> yeah. I'll meet in the junkyard in two hours. <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real... <sighs> that went well, I guess. What am I getting myself into? Bon, je pense qu'on a fait un bon petit épisode okay. là, les amis. Alors, ouais, une douche, ça peut être pas mal une douche, mais je pense qu'on va s'arrêter là, les amis. Euh, Est-ce qu'on peut rechanger de fringue Ah, mince. Ah, peut-être tout à l'heure, en fait. Bref, j'espère que cet épisode vous aura plu. Euh, quant à moi, j'ai vraiment kiffé cet épisode. On se retrouve sur la partie 2 de l'épisode 3 de Life is Strange Before the Storm. C'est Excel. Si ça vous a plu, n'hésitez pas à liker, commenter et partager. C'est Excel. Ciao, ciao